Hey everyone, welcome back to the CNET stage coming to you live from CES 2015. Today, right now, we're checking out the Fly Cly Smart Wheel with Nico, the co-founder and CEO of the company. Tell us about what this device does. Apparently, it turns any traditional bicycle into an electric bike. How, how does that work? Yeah, first, thank you for having me. Of course. Um, yeah, so if you want to ride a bike to school or work and don't be sweaty, right. that's what we want to do. I, have a, I sweat a lot, so I, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of uh, apathy, empathy with that, rather, yeah. Exactly. Explain how I won't sweat with this. Yeah, <laughs> so you have your own bike already. We just take off the wheel. Yeah. You put our wheel on, and this we call it a smart wheel. Right. And it's a pedal assist. So whenever you start pedaling, it helps you. So this is it. So you pedal, it helps you. And if you want to stop, just pedal backward. This way it will stop you and also recharge the battery. So how does that work? It, uh, whatever's the mechanism inside here generates electricity, how? Yeah, so inside here we have motor, battery, all the electronics, Bluetooth, all the sensors. Everything is inside here. Sure. So it just, when you start pedaling, the sensors know, give you the boost. Whenever they, they know that you want to stop, they just start braking. Wow. That's very cool. So uh, there's a lot of different bike sizes, wheel sizes. How uh, many variations is this available in? Yeah, so uh, we are launching it today. So it's available to purchase on our website, flyclight.com. And it comes in four sizes. You can buy just a hub and build your own wheel. You can buy a 20-inch wheel, 26-inch, and 28-inch wheel. And it also comes in white and silver color. Wow. So that's stylish. I, I respect that. Now, what about actually getting this on my bike, what kind of process is involved with that? Yeah, it's actually very simple. So you just uh, take off your rear wheel, okay. and you put our wheel on, you put the, uh, the chain on, you screw the nuts, and you're ready. Yeah, I think we got some video of how that works. J you just have to be in a white room, and then all of a sudden, you get yourself a <laughs> an electrical bike. Exactly. So now, what are we talking about in terms of cost? Because cost. this feels and looks expensive. What are, what are we dealing with here? Yeah, so if you want to buy uh, the whole wheel, it costs 1100 Okay. Just a hub, it's $1,000. And also, we partner up with two bike companies from the United States. Right. And if you want to buy a whole bike with a smart wheel, it starts around uh, 1500 So that's the move right there, is going that way, instead of retrofitting your bike, right? What do you think? Uh, well, it really depends. Sure. Uh, a lot of people actually like their own bikes. Right. So they just buy the rear wheel and that's it. You were telling me before that uh, you, know, you didn't want to remove the sort of organic feeling of pedaling, right? How is that taken into consideration? Yeah, exactly. So I didn't want to make a moped or a motorcycle right. out of a bicycle. Sure. So that's why it's a pedal assist. So whenever you're pedaling, it just gives you that boost and it helps you pedal. Right. right? So you actually, a lot of people that try that said they feel stronger with this. Right. Yeah. Very cool. Is this something that can fit any single bike out there? There's no restrictions? There's not, you know, not compatible with you know, a specific kind or is this universal? Yeah, it's actually universal. It fits on any bike from mountain bike, road bike, city bike to foldable bike, right. even tricycles, everything. Very cool. Yeah. Um, there's an app that complements the whole experience, right? Can you show us what goes on with the app and what's available? Yeah. Yeah, here, just pop it into that camera and I'll sort of narrate there for you. So uh, the app connects through Bluetooth. We have okay. iOS and Android. And uh, on the app, you can actually see how fast you're going, the duration, the distance, the battery level. And also, one of the great things is that you can lock the wheel with the app. You so can lock it? You can lock it, so nobody can ride, a, uh, ride away with it. Can you lock it while someone's riding it? No. Oh, that'd be <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> right. No. All right, so yeah. what about there's like GPS functionality on it too? Yeah, exactly. So we have a map here. So it tracks where you're riding. So for example, last week I was in Amsterdam. So we go here. Okay, sorry. Next one. You kept driving in circles in Amsterdam. What's that about? Uh, which one? No, this one. Let me see. Right here. So this one. Oh, that's it, cool. Yeah, and it tracks where you ride. And uh, this is really passionate about is that um, we collect this data, and if you want to share it with us, right. we give it to bi uh, city officials, uh, so they know where to put the bicycle lanes. Oh, so you're sort of like crowdsourcing transportation routes and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. So this way, uh, we can make cities more bicycle friendly. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. There you go. All right. Very cool. So what what is 
the next iteration? What do you guys sort of see in the future uh, once there's like a, a good installation base? Where, where do you, I mean, is there like a lifespan for something like this? H how does that work? Um, yeah, so I mean, we did a Kickstarter last year, so we right. really started it. Sure. This year we do, uh, set up the production and everything. Today we are launching it, and but yeah, I see in the future I really want to make the bicycle more friendly to people and really that everybody will ride bicycles in the cities. Great, and then yeah. you can also get a, a, an eighty dollar complimentary sort of device that works in tandem with the charger as well. Yes, exactly. So we also develop a smart light, and the smart light is three in one. Great. It's a light for your bicycle, it's a holder for your phone, but it also charges your phone while you're riding. Excellent. And it collects the electricity from the front wheel. Excellent. All right, well, there you have it, the FlyCly smart wheel. It's available right now. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, CNET's next big thing, Super Session. The topic is new realities. We'll take an in-depth look at virtual reality, augmented reality, featuring the top minds from Oculus VR, Technical Illusions, Razorfish, and Jaunt VR. Stay tuned.